Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid in our Tandle 10 Years Later series. Picking up here shortly after our last episode. It is 1pm, August the 3rd. It's raining out, we got sprinters out. We got shamblers. And we are working our way towards this fenced off community in search of a pipe wrench. That's the big goal for today is to find a pipe wrench so we can make some nails how is that possible well one of the mods we're using lone wanderer's saving grace has a recipe actually two recipes for making nails now one of the uh, required ingredients is a pipe wrench for forming the nails out of uh, scrap metal or unusable metal which we were out gathering in the last episode. So we've got enough for, I think, I think we said two boxes of nails. A little bit shy of three. Oh, we're starting to get queasy. Been around too many corpses the last little bit here. There you go, come back here. Um, I did see one sprint around here. They probably ran into that fenced community. Wouldn't think that these would be enough corpses for us to get sick by, but apparently. As we're making our way in here, um, I do want to just give a quick shout out to all of our channel members. Appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you guys definitely make it possible for me to uh, continue doing this type of stuff as a full-time gig. If uh, there are others out there who would like to consider becoming a member as well and supporting the channel and uh, my endeavors with creating content, uh, free, uh, feel free to check out the join button on the channel page. We've got a few different tiers few different perks that you can partake in. But yeah, just wanted to uh, give a, a proper shout out to you guys, because I do appreciate uh, your support and your generosity. So I think this parking lot is clear once again. Um, let's take a look in the back of the truck. Lock is broken. Okay. So be it. Uh, we are a bit hungry. I think we are out of food. We had the last bag of chips. And the rain is picking up. Oh yes, and then we had these uh, storage units over here. That would also be a good place to search. But because we need food as well, I think we continue to try and go to the Houses. Oh, there's some nails. Dismantle that. Oh, what was the sprinter wearing? Not that guy. I don't know where he's going to hop out of. Worry about this immediate area first. And we should take a look at this nightstick, see how much condition it's got left. It's getting pretty low, too. Uh, let's put this stuff away. We did a lot of metalworking in the last episode, so we got ourselves up to level 3. Let's move up here. Or actually, we should probably take care of this group down here first. We only needed metalworking one to actually make the nails. That's the only skill requirement. But the higher our metalworking 
level, the more or the higher chance we will to actually get materials from dismantling stuff. Oh, and it's getting darker again. Although there is a perk to having a low metalworking skill. Is uh you tend to get more unusable metal. And one of you one of the recipes for making nails is using that unusable metal. It actually kind of helps you gather that stuff a little bit easier. I don't know if I should search the houses first or just search the exterior first. Do some clearing. Kill some out here first. I am quite concerned though for a sprinter which I'm sure ran into here. Now we are getting quite wet even though we're wearing our poncho. up. Maybe we should get inside, out of the rain. Got a hunting knife in this one. Oh. Barricaded. few back here. Let's turn on our lantern. Got another barbecue. And a propane tank. Is that a motorcycle helmet or just a crash helmet? crash up there, I think. Let's rip that up. Yeah, just a crash helmet. And we're out of water, too. Okay, I guess we could check this house as well. Um, that's barricaded. Is there a window here? No. this. Nope. Sketchy trees. Alright, remove glass. Alright, we're in. Just one in here. Main floor is clear. Let's go up. Again, we'll search after we've cleared the rooms. Okay. Take a quick look through here. Hopefully there's some food downstairs. Water too. Let's clean those strips. Fill that up. Okay. Some shotgun shells. Nice. 
Oh, um, do we need new shoes? Are we... Alright, we're just wearing sneakers. We need to find more, uh, desert camo boots. Metalworking Master. Let's grab that. Hunter Magazine we've read. Alright, what we got for food here? Yes. Okay, we got soup. Just the soup. Oh, and some beer. Let's grab that. Okay, we're gonna have the soup now. Straight from the can. Let's mark this one off. Okay, so we got garages on these other houses. Let's maybe make a beeline for those. Carefully. I think I did see one in the backyard. Oh, crawler. Draw these ones down. Yeah, there's one for the backyard. There's the runner. I'm watching. Sure. Uh, this might be the same guy we saw earlier. Might be uh, taken care of now. You know what? I'm gonna grab this water bottle. What was that? Who had that? This guy? Yeah, there's the garage, and it looks like it. Might be open. Could probably sleep in one of these houses tonight. Maybe the one we just came from. It had uh, bedrooms with doors. Upstairs. Save us from having to go all the way back to the school. Oh shit, another runner. Good to get him down. Coming. Oh, few coming. Some more leather there. Another runner. Yeah, it's back off here. Here he comes. Let's give him a little bit more room to catch up to us. Get some space between the other ones. So I'm gonna miss. <laughs> that was a little close. <laughs> oh, uh, two wood axes, I think. Or no, just one wood axe. Okay, let's grab that. Yeah, just the one.
Yeah, I can hear one behind us. Slightly through the rain. Let's watch for those tree, uh, tree shakes. There goes that. Okay, let's... See what we got here. We got the hammer, we got the machete, we got the lead pipe. Uh, you know what? Let's go machete. A little primary on that. Oh, and another crowbar. Let's grab that. Nice. Work our way towards level one long blade. Oh, that's another couple. Saw one at the front. I think he must have gone inside. Okay, let's check this. Plank. Yeah, so having our uh, hood up on the poncho definitely helped with keeping us a little bit drier. Good. There's some either outside or upstairs. It's outside. Hey, quick smoke. One side. We'll check upstairs. Okay, what else we got here? Long sleeve gown. Sweater. Uh, briefcase. No, I think we pass on this. Bandage. Let's take that. Alright, keep that filled up. Let's check this kitchen. How's our battery on our lantern? It's okay. Got extras. Okay, there's one outside. Uh, nice. Pancakes, granola bar, evaporated milk. Rotten bacon. Orange soda, mustard. Good haul. Mortar and pestle. Uh, no pipe wrench, though. Okay, let's um, go to the next one here, yeah. Save our lantern for a little bit until we get inside.
All right, two coming from that way. Let's uh, let's go. Oh. No, let's wait for this one. Three actually. Let's grab a beta blocker quickly. Calm down. More newspaper, perfect. Onto knife. Bag's getting kind of full. Okay, so this one's closed and barricaded. There's our level one long blade. That didn't take long. Oh, and we're getting tired. Yeah, we got strong pushes, hey? Water bottle. Let's take that. Chips. Let's go ahead and eat that. Peas. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the house. We'll probably end up sleeping in this one if we can clear it out. And it's got decent rooms. More evaporated milk. TV dinner, popcorn, perfect. See a can of food on the counter. Yeah, we're starting to get tired too, so. There we go, good haul of food. Upstairs. We'll be sleeping here. Yeah, it's got a good room. The door. All right, good progress. Let's mark off this other house. And garage. So we need to get into this one tomorrow. Uh, this one I think we can say is surged, and we got three more. This one's probably just a shed. Might not be a house. And then uh, I think uh, also tomorrow we'll hit up the uh, storage units. So we're going to get some sleep here. I don't think I have anything to read. Yeah, we've got all our boosts. Uh, so yeah, I'll just, I'll probably eat something, uh, something here and then um, we'll cut back in the morning. Next morning, still raining. Let's fill up these extra bottles that we picked up. By 40 a.m. August 4th. That puts us at 27 days. Let's search this stuff. Oh, there we go. Um. Can't grab this all. Uh, we are full now. Okay, let's just take the magazine. I'll throw them back to the car. Here we 
Okay, let's go back. It's primary. We'll just throw all the stuff in the car. And yeah, we searched. Okay, yeah, this house is done. Aside from that uh, M65, we got another barbecue there. Ooh, look at all these crops. We got tomatoes. Okay, just come back and harvest that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's good. That'll get us to level three farming for sure, and some more food. Might even bring the car up closer. Bring it right up to here. Let's go for a run. These crops probably aren't going to be around for too much longer. Those tomatoes being harvestable. I think um, the other crops we've seen so far are probably close to rotting, if not already rotted. Okay, uh, let's... Let's put stuff on the back seat. Oh, I do have garbage bags here. Um, here let's go to secondary. Throw this stuff into bags. Make unpacking a little bit easier. Uh, crowbar, we can put in the trunk. Along with the hunting knife. Uh, granola bar will keep on us. Sunflowers will keep on us. Uh, all these extra water bottles put away. I think we're... Here, let's just throw this stuff back here. Look, I'm going to carry that around. Uh, and this garbage bag, let's put that back here. There we go. Cleans up most things. Let's put this garbage bag on the seat now. Perfect. Okay, let's pull this up. Quickly. Alright, park it right there. Oh shit. Uh, it'd be cool if they had, um, you know, it's like so wet and all these puddles on the ground. The crawlers being so fat. Oh, never mind. There goes the fog. If the crawlers um, had like a wake through the water <laughs> as it came towards you. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, this has its open now. Search this one. Oh yeah, there's food on the counter too. Nice. Cereal and a can of open something that's probably rotten. Antibiotics on the uh, counter in the bathroom there. Closet. Oh, a, a sprinter in the closet. <laughs> Oh, nightmares.
Carpentry 5 Master. Another newspaper. Top up water again. Gun case, there's some ammo. Got that. We will do a um, some shotgun clearing soon. We've gathered a, a nice little stash of shells. So in one of these episodes coming up, we'll try and get our first few levels of aiming. Nice sardines and countertop, canned sardines, cereal, dog food. Excellent. And let's take the roasting pan. Good. Oh, uh, there we go. Driving beginners. Okay. We can use that for the last little bit of our level two. I don't think we need those. Tailoring master. Noise maker. Let's get over to this house. I want to harvest these tomatoes. Crawler? No, just a sitter. A couple crops got trampled, but the vast majority are still here. Hey, David. All right, let's start harvesting these. All right, there's three. Might as well go for four. Oh, yeah, easily we'll get four. So many tomatoes. There you go, there's four. Forty-four tomatoes. Ah, uh, that's gonna fill up that bag. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the car. Well, let's keep those antibiotics on us. There's many of those in there that'll go. Okay, let's put that back in.
Throw our bag out. Throw all this stuff in there. So we're going to be living off of tomatoes for a little while. Uh, early on we were living off of strawberries. And we get to enjoy some tomatoes. Let's put this on the side. And uh, if we can read our next farming book, we can come back and get the next level five. I'm probably not going to eat all those tomatoes though before they go rotten, so I don't know if it's worth harvesting the rest of these. Expert. Grab that. All right. Well, we're finding food. Uh, no pipe wrench, though. Meat cleaver. Frying pan. syrup. Yeah, it's been a good food run. It's not the thing we need. Right at this moment. Hold on to those as back up there. Uh, hiking bed, yes, let's take that. Okay. Let's go to our map. Let's mark this off. I go back to that garage still. Got these two, and then we just searched this one already. Okay. Just the garages. Let's go to this one. Take care of this guy outside. Alright, is there a window? No, so I have to break the door down. Okay, let's get our axe out. Ooh, generator. Okay. Gas can. Let's take this generator, throw it in the car. Nice. It's one down. We'll put this on the uh, gas station nearby. Put it on the passenger seat if we've got that empty. Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, that's a good find. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's go up here. Get into this one. Then we've got that shed back there. Alright, 
hopefully we're clear. Nope, we're not. Let's try again. back out and that's empty let's mark this off all right to the shed should probably grab these uh, propane tanks hmm Barricaded. Clear? No, we're not clear. Rope, their hammer, roadside duffel bag, another axe. This <laughs> what a damn box of nails or uh, pipe wrench. No, no go. Okay. Hey. Got an axe. Alright, that's done. Well, we've done pretty good with clearing out um, a few neighborhoods. Okay, to the storage units. It's our bag. Actually, our bag is full. We should actually go home. Drop everything off. Let's grab this propane tank. Might not even be a bad thing to take a whole barbecue with this. Frickin' could take a charcoal barbecue, I think there was one over here as well. Don't worry about fuel more though. A loiterer. Let's go back home. Now this time we shouldn't pull a bunch back with us, which is good. Drop this off, and we'll go take care of whoever followed us. Oh, there's one sprinter. Oh no, a few followed us. Okay, well, let's kill them out here. We're far enough away. Another night stick here. No. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I know that. That drew some attention. Shotgun? Yeah. Some ammo. Let's grab that. Might as well keep this extra shotgun. Okay, no one else is coming down. Let's get everything unloaded. So we got our duffel bag. Let's put that in our pile. Bacon bag. Oh, another runner. You came from. Heard their footsteps in the water. Okay, let's get the rest of this off. Let's just hold one propane torch on us. Should check the uh, back driving area too at some point. See if anyone's gone in there. Throw this extra axe and uh, hammer down as well. Let's fill up our water. I actually took this um, bottle around to uh, bathrooms in that office we, we picked it up. And just filled it up as much as I could. Okay, this is almost full. So we're going to need a better storage option for melee weapons. It's not going to... The back. anymore so I think ideally we'll want to wall this off here too Could even do like a little garden back in here down the road we could probably also put um, yeah melee weapons up here Okay, let's gab. Uh, I'm gonna leave the generator in here. Take that to the gas station. Yep, 
Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff dropped off, and then uh, we'll cut back. We're gonna head back to those storage units. Uh, if we have time, we'll go to a gas station and connect this generator too. Oh shit, guys. Caught in a bad spot. We got a sprinter inside. I've gotten scratched twice, I think. Just once. Okay. Uh, good lord, I was not prepared for that. I tried to push again. <laughs> Even though we know that doesn't work. Man. Inside the base. Okay. Uh, left forearm. We're lucky to just get a scratch. Wow. I was, I was left speechless. I didn't know what to do. Okay. Um, let's just do this one at a time now. Let's keep a weapon out at all times until we get doors on. That was terrifying. Now we uh, play the waiting game again. Should be okay. 7% chance. 93% chance we skate through it again. Of course it had to be a sprinter. Of course. Um, we could change this bandage out as well. That is healed. I'm gonna keep this open. Uh, let's have our smokes. We reset our anxiety. It's a bad one. Some pain. Yeah, that was a that was a stupid thing on my part to be uh, carrying uh, both hands with an exposed room like this. Um, not gonna do that again. Everything's been dropped off. Just making us a salad. Anxiety hasn't come back yet. It hasn't been that long though, so. Continue to keep an eye on that. I have changed the bandage once. Um, I'm just gonna make a salad here. Put some pickle in there. And I'm not sure if I can put fish in the salad. Let's open up um, sardines. Let's see. No. Okay, let's just eat that. And we'll just eat this. That away. And we'll make another quick tomato salad. It's a bunch of diced tomatoes in a bowl. Health is going up slowly. Very minor damage. And our backpack. Let's take your painkiller. And let's head out to those storage units. Ah, uh, well, it's 7.20. Hmm. Not sure we have enough time. We might want to wait for the morning. Maybe we just do a patrol around here. See what's around the corner. Is there anyone hanging about? Might be best for us to just stay home. Uh, yeah, let's clear up a few. Up here. We'll stay home tonight and we'll hit the uh, storage unit in the morning. Now I probably, um, I'm assuming our poncho probably got ripped, but I don't think our poncho provides much protection anyway. Let's see if we get anxious. 
tonight. I hope we don't. Oh, if we lose another character to a sprinter. I swear to God. Especially in that manner. That would definitely be a karma payback for our last character surviving those few instances of uh, being caught out with the uh, double equipped bags in our cryo series. So, clearing around here will help with the uh, zombies just wandering around the fence and making their way to us. So this is needed. At least the injury wasn't on our other hand, our other arm. Food. Oh, beta blockers. Put that rifle on the round. Yeah, let's grab the beta blockers. Dismantle that. car tools. We might as well grab those. Replace the ones that we left behind. Continue our mechanic work. Yeah, two lug, lug wrenches. Just in case. Oh, and that's the big warehouse, right? That we need the sledgehammer to get into. Yeah. Like a restaurant up there. Okay, we're getting tired. And we need to change out the Spanish. Okay, let's kill this one and we'll head back. Quickly change this. Disinfected. Let's disinfect. Bandage. Okay. Still no anxiety. All right, let's go back. Yeah, it just says it's getting dark here, so uh, I got two more to get through here. I should take care of this one. I'll let him come to us. As the rain picks up again. A lot of rain. It's been three days now, four days. Well, it did stop for a little bit. Alright, let's get this stuff dropped off. I will hold on to that battery. Um, our water's out, we'll have to refill that. Uh, 
Tire Jack and Log Wrench. I'll just put that here so we can see it easily. Let's eat that before bed. Oh, we can fill up water actually from this bathroom. We haven't touched these ones yet. All right, let's get to sleep. Let's see if we're infected. And nothing overnight. I think we're safe. Change this out, see if it's healed. Nope, oh, still not. I, I can barely see it though, so. No infection, thank God. That would have sucked. Oh, uh, hold on. Bandage goes in here. Okay, let's go make a another tomato salad. Take that with us. Yeah, we'll put some sunflower seeds in there. Okay, let's head over to the storage units. We're pretty close to the end of the episode here, but maybe we can get into one. Got our axe, which we'll use to actually get into the units. Uh, there's one more up, right? Yeah. Here. Now I should be able to pull right into the uh Storage unit lot. Shouldn't be too many left around here. Just position us to get out of here. And anyone that is in here will be drawn to the engine. make this pretty safe for us to search. Man, it is dark. I gotta have the lantern on. Okay, let's get the axe out. Got a mini fridge in there. Oh, there's actually someone in there. Did they climb through? Yeah, it must have. Alright, let's go for these uh, three here. Barbecues. More propane. Big hiking bag. Pack of glow sticks. Might just take one of those barbecues back for cooking. Some wine. Uh, 
Uh, gas lantern. All right, let's throw it on the ground. Let's move this. I like the uh, electric lantern more. Tethering mechanics, forging. Grab that one. Okay. You know what? I think we got time to just, um, let's do one more. This is actually a lot of storage units here. Okay. All right, last one. What do you got for us? A whole lot of nothing. Might try and pull some zombies in here next episode. Get a key for the rest of these because there's so many of them. Oh no, we got a canteen. Nice, that's actually good. We need a canteen. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty successful episode. Uh, we did get scratched. Um, we are anxious now, but that's just our need for a smoke. We made it through the night just fine. Um, we found some more food. We uh, got a generator. Got some more good weapons. We found another axe, a couple wood axes. I am going to throw this in the car and take one of these barbecues back home. And we'll be back next episode to search the rest of these storage units. Bound to be more good stuff in here with all these. So, yeah, hopefully you come back. Hopefully you enjoyed this show. If you did, hit that like button. It helps the channel out. Leave me some comments down below. Your thoughts. Uh, yeah, just generally help the algorithm along. Appreciate you guys. Once again, thank you to all the, uh, the backers, the members of the channel. Uh, you guys are greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah. Uh, to all the, just yeah, subscribers, viewers, I make this content uh, for you guys, and I enjoy doing so, and hopefully I can continue uh, doing it full-time uh, for a while to come. Check us out over uh, on our live stream as well. We stream Project Zomboid regularly, so if you'd like to come say hi um, in a live setting, I uh, would love to see you out there. Twitch.tv slash Nomas Plays, as well as right here on YouTube. We do stream daily. And uh, today we're just going to be doing some surviving over on the uh, community, the Nomas Plays community server. So, uh, yeah, come say hi. Uh, link to the Discord as well for that part of the community down in the description. Check that out. That does it for today. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.